Dear viewers, we are very glad and happy today to have on board with us Ms. Dina Oda. Thank you so much for having well, me. You're welcome. Uh, tell us more about your educational background, please, and uh, your main position at Kuwait University. All right. So I am an English language teacher at Kuwait University at the College of Engineering and Petroleum. Lovely. And I am teaching students uh, studying to become engineer, um, English as a language, as well as research skills, uh, public speaking skills, and communication that they need to become competent engineers in the future. Brilliant. And how about your educational experience and background? From where did you graduate, for example? So I graduated, um, I got my bachelor's from uh, Gulf University for Science and Technology. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I got my master's from uh, Kuwait University. And then I went through a few places before finally uh, becoming a teacher at Kuwait University. Lovely. All right, we would love to hear more about the impact of Kuwait universities on uh, uh, students' uh, lives, uh, indoor and outdoor. I believe that uh, university has um, a huge impact on students' lives. Uh, this is the safe place uh, where they can uh, um, exercise their uh, rights, expand their knowledge. Uh, this is the place where they can understand about society, about politics, about science, uh, without any limits. I feel and I believe that the university is the protected uh, environment that gives the students the wing to experiment, to explore, to investigate, and to learn about themselves as humans and uh, build on that and take it in the future. So definitely the university has a huge impact uh, on students and uh, this is the best place they can be uh, and it's the safest place they can be. Okay. And I hope that we are using this to its full potential. Okay. Coming across this huge influence and impact, tell us more about the social clubs within the university, please. As everybody probably knows, uh, Kuwait University has a very active uh, life when it comes to social clubs. Uh, people, uh, the students, uh, are very lucky to exercise uh, some some uh, political activities. Uh, those which uh, enable them to later take their understanding and their experience to life uh, as uh, grown-ups. Uh, so we have very active social clubs, each of which is representative of an ideology mm -hmm. that is later going to expand in their lives as adults. Okay. So uh, it's so good that the university has offered that atmosphere and that camp for the students to exercise these political rights. Uh, these social clubs don't just call for the students' rights, they also introduce them to the political process, the students vote, mm -hmm. the students campaign, the students uh, have their demands and they work on fulfilling those demands for the, for the students. They have representatives, uh, they, know, they know the process and they argue and they voice their opinions. Having this done uh, in a university atmosphere is an excellent, excellent experience and I'm sure Sure, whoever is involved is going to have um, a huge impact uh, later in the future as citizens in this country. Okay. And I believe as well they play a crucial role um, on guiding students through their majors, isn't it? Uh, that is true. Uh, in addition to them representing the students w uh, politically, if I would say this between quotation marks, uh, the main focus of this is to serve the students. Okay. Uh, just as the main focus of political representatives in the country is to serve the citizens. Yes. They have taken this role and they've worked on it. So um, I always tell my students to use that right and to make sure that their voices are heard and that their demands are fulfilled through these right channels. And uh, definitely social clubs aim at serving the students. Uh, I think they've done a lot when it comes to that. Brilliant, brilliant. And finally, uh, what are your thoughts about this mega structure? How good is it? Um, Shdadia campus in general is a state-of-the-art uh, structure. Everyone who comes to visit Kuwait and see this place is somewhat blown away by the facilities, by the equipment, by the advanced uh, machinery that we have. Um, uh, as any other places, of course, it has its problems, but uh, it's, they're all manageable, hopefully, and uh, we want to use it also to its full potential in a way that helps the students learn and enjoy their learning experience. Absolutely. So it's a gorgeous monument. It's beautiful. It's Absolutely. beautiful. And the vibes are right. As you can see, we're in a well, uh, well lit place. Uh, it's, it's a beautiful place. Lovely. And finally, uh, we would love to hear an advice or a, a recommendation from you towards uh, any student in the near future that would, would go through this process or maybe enter the university very soon. Well, my ultimate advice would be to um, enjoy your university life. Okay. Really enjoy it. Okay. Um, 
do it with passion, do it with, uh, with force, uh, do it with commitment, um, and uh, enjoy your university life. This is my, my ultimate right. advice. Thank you so much. We're very, very glad to have you on board with us today. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Thank, you so much. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much.